Good morning. I'm Mary. I'm Linda. And we're Pinky Ball Sisters in the Kitchen. And um, we're going to be doing uh, chicken ham. I call them ham ball, uh, chicken ham balls. They're kind of like croquettes. Yeah. They're just, um, they're really delicious, but it's kind of like an appetizer, you know. And um, I think it's going to be good. good. I think it's going to be good. Um, but how's the weather out there today, Linda? You, you it's gonna be that. hot. It's kind of cloudy, but it's not forecasting rain till Thursday. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. But it's oh. gonna be another hot day. Yesterday yeah. was a scorcher. Yeah, it was hot yesterday. And um, I, I, at nine o'clock last night, I said, "Oh no, it's getting the time of the season. I gotta get out and water the flowers. I mean, the the shrubbery and stuff, the ferns and plants and stuff." So I got there last night and. Uh, it's 9.30 when you ever even settle down to even start to get, get ready for bed. It just, the time just goes by so fast. It, it does. The so, days just, they yeah. go by so fast. Yeah. Okay. So now, for the ones that's just joined, we're making chicken dash ham balls, or, or croissette. Croissette? Croquettes. Croquettes. Anyway, I'm not, I'm not fancy on words. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> so anyway... This is shallot, shallot, partially, this is partially, this is onion, and this is celery. Now, I've already got all this stuff chopped up, but I wanted to show y'all, I love this thing right here. I use this for everything. I know, I love it. It is such a, uh, Linda, if you want to, do you want to start chopping sure. this, and then yeah, I will sure. tell them, um, uh, kind of as we go. Uh, it has a lot, this, this recipe, it's not, a, it's not a quick recipe. If you're going to be making these, um, it's good to start the day before and, and prep, do a lot of prepping. Okay. Because there's things about this recipe that you have to uh, let it cool down in the refrigerator, which I've already done that already this morning. So uh, this right here is what I've already um, chopped up. I'll get them up. It, that's about the size you... Uh, well, I don't know we're not doing that right now. We're, no, the, um, the parsley doesn't go in there right now. But since I got my chopping board out, just just chop up just a little bit oh, more, Linda. And you would think, now, um, on partially, Linda, same thing as uh, cilantro. Um, it, um, you wash it. You wash it and then, that's okay, I know. I knew that's why, that's why I already uh, done some of it. Um, go ahead. Yeah, that'd be enough probably. Um, I wash, I wash parsley and cilantro, and you know it, it won't cut wet. At least it don't for me. Right. So I wash it, and then I take paper towels and I just squeeze it real dry, and then I get some more paper towels, and I just keep using paper towels until I get all of that wetness moisture, and moisture yeah. out. And then I break the stems off, and then I just break the very ink tips of the of the green bean and um and then we chop it and that's how you do it all right now does that, that look like about enough that is perfect perfect linda and then that right there that's um this is celery i wash the celery this is actually two stalks but it really doesn't take that many but i just wanted to make sure i didn't have to and how fun do you want this i want it to You want it what? Minced, minced, and what I mean by that, I want it really fine. Is that, that fine? Yeah, enough? that's fine. Actually, I mean, you putting it in a processor or a blender. Actually, you might not have to. Um, let me get another fourth the cup. Uh, I think it's over here. Um, no, it's a half. Yeah, it is a fourth the cup. Celery. I don't forgot how much celery I put in there last night. It is, that's right. Had not had doubt myself there for a few so minutes. That's enough of that, right? Yes, that's enough. I knew I was uh, washing more celery than what I needed, but I didn't want to not have enough. Well, when you do so, that, sometimes do you chop? Do you put it in a bag and put it in the freezer? I do when it's over. Okay. Yeah. We're we're not going to chop the rest of that because we don't want to take it off. Okay. Now, if you don't mind. I'll, I'll put this in a bag later, but just do the um, onions for me later. And you need a fourth a cup of these, I too. need a fourth a cup of that. And do you want these minced? Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. This is the best I've ever had. Is that fine enough? Yeah. It's, um, 
I think it is Linda. Thank you. Um, the blend, the blender or the food processor would chop this up, but it just to me, I just want to make sure yeah. because these little balls, I don't want no chunks of onion and celery. Right. Okay. So. You think that's enough? Yeah, that's enough. Okay. All right. All right. Now we're going to um, set this aside <laughs> yes. and just move that over to the table, and I'll clean this off, and then we will proceed. Are you through with the chopper too? Uh, yes, I am. Okay. I can do that here. You got something else to do. Um, the first thing I do uh, when you're doing this is you put ham. I'll let you do the. Uh, Take that and throw it in the trash for me, please. Um, let me see where's it at. I was going to show them what kind of ham it was. This is ham and milk. Uh, what did I do with the ham? We haven't even said, but we've got we've got our crew back today. Yeah, we do, don't we? Well, Linda's behind the camera. Yay! Yeah. Carlos behind the computer. Yeah. In another. Well, I had two packages of ham in here. Um, it doesn't matter. You can use Walmart. You get this at Walmart. The one I actually used on this morning was um, Phil Smith Smithfield Smithfield. Okay. Uh, just a little bitty diced ham. Little bitty. Uh, or you can get it chopped uh, uh, several different sizes, and you yes. got the smaller size. I got size. the smaller size, yes. Okay. And I've got to get some paper towels. And... So tell me what to do. Okay. Uh, I dropped something. This bag came open. I'm not going to stoop over and pick that up I later. Wash my hands or I'm yeah, going to get I know, me too. That's why I didn't do it. Um, this is a half a cup of whole milk and a half a cup of the diced ham. And you soak that. And I soak, you're supposed to soak it for an hour. See? You just soak it in the freezer for an hour. Let me just put that in the sink for me, please. I'm going to put it back in the refrigerator because I'm not ready for it yet. But I was just going to tell you, this would be the first thing you do after you chop your vegetables and put this in the refrigerator and let it be soaking. Here, you got this burner on under this blower. Yeah. Can you do something with it? Uh, I'm fixing to put this butter in here. Okay. This is a fourth, uh, uh, actually it's a half a stick, a half a stick of butter. And I'm going to put this in my pan here. Oh, that is neat. Not too hot, is it? Now, this is where the onions and the celery go. Okay. If you want to put, the, give the, hand those to the Linda. Okay. Just stuff them in there. Here's a little spatula. Are you through with the little bowls? I am through with them, Linda. Okay. I'm letting that half a stick of butter melt. I'm putting a fourth a teaspoon of cayenne pepper in there. And it, it's just the right amount for me, Linda. It might, you might need a little more, but oh, it'll, it'll give it an extra little kick. And I'm putting some uh, garlic powder in there. This, open. this is thyme. I love spices. Yeah, it smells so good. It sure does, and it and it tastes. When all this is blended together, it tastes so good. There's what I was looking for. <laughs> Ground time is what I was looking for, and I didn't find it this morning. Okay, all right. Now uh, that just has to melt. I put a little bit of salt. I, put, I don't know. Well, I guess I put a teaspoon because of that chicken. I put some. Teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of pepper. Just let it season up a little bit. And where's my little? Looks good. You cook this for about 
maybe five minutes. What you do is you cook it till it's tender. Right. So those vegetables are tender. Just let it, uh, I'm going to turn it up just a tad. And in case y'all are wondering, Mary used a, a metal whisk with these uh, pans. Yes. You can use metal, metal in these yeah. titanium pans. Right. Sure can. And Kathy's watching us this morning. Kathy. She doesn't always, um, in California, Kathy, oh, okay. she doesn't always get to watch because she has a lot of uh, stuff that she has to do. But hi, Kathy. We're glad hi, you're watching Kathy. this morning. <laughs> hi, Michelle. I'm going to put these in this water. Kathy's daughter. We just, cook this, we just cook this till it's tender. And um, mm, that smells good. I'll go ahead and get it out of the refrigerator. He went, you got butter yesterday, didn't you? I sure did. You oh, see that, that butter? <laughs> I'm telling you, that butter, um, it's a Kroger brand. And with the digital um, coupon, coupon it's two forty seven, And they limit you to five. Well, you know what i done? I got my five. And um, I got there. She said... This butter is really cheaper without the digital without the digital coupon. And I says, "What do you mean?" She said, "It's ninety nine cents." Ninety nine cents. And I said, "I said, is there a limit on that?" <laughs> she said, "No." So I went back, got ten more. Well, because I'm that's cheap. Have, I'm gonna have to stop the product today. And it's some. unsalty. When you called me yesterday, I was just too tired to, yeah. to go back over to yeah. Kroger, but I need to um, stock up on some. Uh, I don't know if that was a holiday. I don't know. I don't know what it was. It, it was. In the store, it was not marked 99 cents. It was not marked. Okay, well, I'm going to check it out. So, anyway, I'm just like, I'm just getting this tender because when you make these balls, uh, it, everything is so minced and mm -hmm. together, and the meat, the, this needs to be tender so you're not getting anything raw. Because it doesn't take long. No, no, it don't. Let me turn this light on. That might help. <laughs> So as soon as that gets tender, um, oh God, I gotta put some flour. Oh, here it is, I already got it out. So some of y'all might have saw us yesterday. We did a little video in the mall, and I apologize. It was the background noise was so bad. But yeah. anyway, go ahead, Mary. Well, that's okay. I'm just letting this get tender, and then and once the vegetables get tender, I put a third a cup of flour in here. Oh yeah, I need to get the milk out. We got some um, new microphones that we hope that's going to help with that, with that yes. excess noise. Yes. But uh, we hadn't um, we hadn't tried them out yet. <coughs> okay. <coughs> okay. I think that's. I, I think it's been. I Put think it's tender. Yeah. I think it's tender. So I'm putting the flour, or the flour, and that's all purpose, right? All purpose flour. Just want to let that cook just a minute, to get that flour, cook that flour a little bit, and then I'm going to add a, a cup of milk, whole okay. milk. I opened a bag of flour the other day and on the top of it, yeah. I'm sure it's been on there before, but I've never seen it. It said, before you sneak a taste of it, cook it. And I'm like, who eats raw flour? <laughs> who, eats, who sneaks a taste of flour? Not me. Uh, I just I, thought that was funny. I watched a little video of a kid, a little child, I probably was three years old. His grandmother was teaching him how to cook, and I'm sure a lot of y'all probably seen the same video. She was teaching him how to cook, and every time anything she put in that bowl, he'd grab a handful and put it in his mouth. <laughs> It was the cutest thing. And when she put an egg in there, he reached in there, and, and she was, I mean, wrestling with him to keep him from putting out his hand in his mouth. It was real cute. Just cook, just cook this up. Now, uh, this uh, flour and this is thick, you know, um, but that's okay. Uh, cook it a few minutes. Just cook it about a minute to, to get that flour, that raw flour. What was it that Bradley said to you yesterday? They went to the lake, didn't they? Oh, yeah. Bradley, went, they went to the lake yesterday, and um, um, Carl called me on on their way up there. It was a pretty good place. He said, Nemo, we're going to the lake. You want to go with us? <laughs> 
I said, Bradley, I can't go. It's too far. He said, well, it's a pretty good drive for us. And I said, I know it is. It's about an hour and something. And um, so he is, he is so cute. And Kelly's got more teeth, doesn't she? Yeah, she is. She, uh, she's uh, getting some teeth. Okay, I think I've cooked that frog up. Now I'm going to put the cup of milk, whole milk. And you just, it gets thick really fast. And it would get cook, uh, get thick faster than that if um, if that milk wasn't cold, but I didn't want to leave the milk out, so. Anyway, you just, uh, it'll all stir up in there. Use this, use any kind of whisk to, yeah. you know. But I, these right here, I got two, I use, I keep two in my drawer because I use yeah, these I things all the time. Yeah, I love them. Can you believe this is the end of May? I know, I know. We'll be going to do an apron drawing. We're going to draw for the apron for this month. Um, do you want to do it Wednesday? tomorrow? We can do it tomorrow. Hey, uh, tomorrow the first? Yeah, we'll be at my house tomorrow. We okay. can draw tomorrow, okay. Um, and we got several birthdays in June. We were talking about this earlier. Haley's is the third. I, I, She'll uh, be 13 years old. Oh, no, it doesn't Renee's say that. oldest daughter. That's Carla's oldest granddaughter. Uh, well, not even more. But well, that's right. She's <laughs> adopted. I'm, right. I'm sorry. Shelly's got two adopted teenagers. But, um, and then uh, Nolan, um, Renee's oldest son, his birthday, and I was trying to think of the date, and I, I, I don't know if it's the, it's real close to Haley's, the 6th or the 7th, anyway, it's it's real close, and then Mike's is the 22nd, and Chuck's is the 27th, or 29th, okay, and it seemed like there was some more birthdays we had in June. Chuck informed me yesterday that his friends was giving him a birthday party here. <laughs> oh, no, that was nice, wasn't it? How old will Chuck be? Fifty-one. Right, because he was fifty-one. That was fifty-one. I get. I tell you, a couple, Linda. I get. So I. I don't know. I used to be I, uh, math, and you know, it just used to be easy for me. It's got where I can't even figure in my head something. I told all you people Sunday that I've been going to that church for twenty-two years, and after I did the video, I said I've been coming here twenty-seven years. I didn't even, well, it just, it's just, it's harder to recollect things sometimes. I just, uh, I came in 95, wouldn't that be 27? Um, 95. 95, five years to yeah. 2000 is 22, that's 27 years. And I told, I told all y'all I've been going to that church 22 years. Okay, Linda, you want to get the camera on this? It gets really thick and that's what you want. See? See how, how thick that is? That's what you want. It's almost like a, like a paste. And, and, these, and these pots and pans, I can't break them. I can't uh, talk enough about them. In case some of y'all just joined, we're making chicken dash ham balls. I'm going to show you how, show you how it comes out of the skillet. Just slide right out. Yep. I know. You'll do it this time. I am. Now this is what you put in the refrigerator. Here's the here's the and you put this in the refrigerator and let, until it gets cold. It takes almost an hour for it to get cold. Yeah. And of course, I'm not going to make y'all wait, so I made some already this morning. <laughs> you has been up working. So, here's. This is where it is when it's cold. Not, uh, when I when I made this before um, and put it in the refrigerator, I wanted to speed it up so I take it out ever so often and stir it and stir it, and that and it'll get it'll get cold quicker. So it's nice and smooth. It is, but it's gonna be smoother when I get through with the blender. blender. Now next step is either a blender or. Um, Food processor. Food processor. All right. Let's and I'm going to use my Pepper Chef blender. This thing, I mean, it's powerful. I wouldn't want to put. I wouldn't want to put nothing in there that that you don't want chopped up because it'll sure chop it up. Turn it on, and uh, then I'm gonna put this in here. 
and you put this in the in the blender or food processor and just pulse it until it's smooth, which doesn't take, I mean, just almost instant. It's so powerful. I use honey mustard to dip this deep in. Right, not for sauce. Yeah. Um, you can put it in whatever uh, your favorite dipping sauce is, but I like it with honey mustard. And I told Linda, if you'll put that in the sink for me, please. Um, I'll try to get all this out that I can. Um, I'm not that crazy about uh, crab meat, but the consistency of these inside these is Makes almost like the crab, crab meat. meat. Yeah, because I mean it. Like a crab cake. Yeah. I, I can just leave that in there. So okay. Have to. All right, now. Lid on it. Now you're not putting the parsley in there now, right? Not, not now. That's okay. one of the last things I do. Okay. All right. And what I put on this, I just put um, pulse. Oh, I forget you have to turn it on and then pulse. Well, I have to wait through. boneless chicken breast and I cut it into chunks. Depending, you cut it in any kind of chunks you want. Um, but then, um, give me some tongs, would you? Well, you know what, I might can just put, throw it in here. Where are your tongs at? I, I got sure. it. I just, the, the meat was, um, I'd already washed the meat, got that off, uh, and cut up. Now, I'll put this on grind. And so, I'm going to turn it off because I don't, all right, now, I'm going to put it on grind. It's on grind. And it will chop that meat up. Some people to do, but, yeah, 
But um, um, my food processor is not strong enough, I can tell you. Now I'm going to put that ham in there. But you drain the ham. There's a little strainer. There's a little strainer in that middle. There. Yeah, there's a little strainer. I think it's in there. This one? Yeah. Well, that's not really yeah. a strainer. Yeah, it's okay. Use it. I'm just going to strain this. I'm not using the milk. I'm just going to pour it down the thing. Strain the, strain the meat off, the uh, milk off. And then put this ham in here. It's been soaking in milk. Are you done with all I this? I may need the spatula again. Okay. So. Then I'll just I'll take this back. Okay. Turn it to grind again. It's really thick. I mean, what is thick? Like, the other time I made it too. Is it colder than it was the last time when you did it last night? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. What it, yeah, what it might be because it's staying in the refrigerator all night. Yeah. And uh, that might be it. Yeah. The lid. Get a lid. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thanks, girls. So, I think I'm just gonna um, stir it. Stir it. You want me to move it? Get out of your way. Yeah, just move that. I'm just gonna stir it in there. Uh, we get a bowl and put it in. Uh, now I need that long spatula now. Get all of this out. The um, little tin one? Or? It's over there. It's right over there. Oh, oh this skinny one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's skinny one. Okay. I'm out of sync. Right. It's really thick. <laughs> but that's what it has to be to make the balls. I guess I could use a spoon I wonder, to get uh, this out and then use a spatula whenever I... I wonder if uh, you had to ground the meat first. Well, I thought about that. And then put the uh, um, other in there. Yeah. 
I thought about that, but I mean, it's ground. You can definitely yeah. tell it's ground up. Oh, it is. Um, I don't know. <clears throat> the only thing about using this blender is getting it off of them blades. Yeah. Of course, this this uh, this blender it's it's self cleaning. Right. You just put just a tiny bit of dishwashing soap in it and some water, and it it washes itself. That's that is yeah. really a good feature yeah. of the blender. I'll just get all this off, and then uh, I've already uh, I've already got some made. Looks like something that Mama would have made. She, she yeah. grind, used to grind up ham yeah. to make yeah. ham salad. Yeah. Do you remember that? Mary? Yes, I do. Uh -huh. She would get the little canned hams. Um, is that what stuff. she used? Yes. The canned hams. Yes. yes. Okay. All right. Let me wash my hands and uh, get this out of the way. And um, I, uh, I'm gonna put some gloves on to handle this chicken. And Linda, if you want to uh, put some gloves on too. Okay. okay. I'm just going to wipe this off a little bit. I sprayed the sprayed the aluminum foil. It got really good. There. Did you get me some gloves? Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Where's your oil at? I put some in that little bowl right there. Oh, so, uh, okay. <coughs> yeah. And uh, you don't have to put gloves on, but that's what I'm going to do. I hope I, I got out the wrong gloves. They're small. Did you get them on? Yeah. They're tight, aren't they? Yeah. I, this is not the gloves that I normally use. My hand's a little bigger than yours. I wonder. Uh, so we're going to. Uh, you just dip your hands on it? Yeah, just get it on your hands and this, and then this. Take little, um, uh, I'll let you do one first, so I'll make okay. sure I'm doing it right. All right. Well, these gloves are not exactly fitting my hand. I wonder why I, I got these gloves out. Do so you have a box of smalls? I have, yeah. These are smalls, and I, don't, I think I use medium. And I've got some medium ones, but my hands, that's why you used to wash, have to wash out the jars. Because my hand was. I've washed some jars out, but look, that was really Linda's job was wash out the, the mason I still jars. Put my whole hand in a mason Can you? Jar. I, I'm scared yeah. to do that. <laughs> These gloves are really tight on me. Okay. Did you see those little tiny bowls I got the other day at Home Goods? I didn't those see those little them. tiny bowls. They're so cute. They're my pasta. And they oh. were marked down, and I put pixel fruit bowls in them. Oh, I love my pasta. I do too. Just, um, Get oil on your hands. Woo, I might have too much oil. <laughs> so about the size of a Just a ball, ball, yeah. Any size you want. Is mine too big? No, no. No, that's fine. I, I think I put too much oil on my hands and that makes makes making this oily. But yeah. if you make your balls, then you put them in the refrigerator and let them um, for about, just kind of get Solid, you know, kind of. <laughs> I know. I, that's what I'm saying. You don't need much oil in your hands, and I just I put too much, but that's okay. It's, it doesn't stick to you when you do that. Did Mom tell you about um, when we went and ate sushi on Friday? No, you gotta tell me about that. <laughs> that was funny. Mom and Carla and Chuck, uh, my kids, we, me and my kids eat sushi all the time. They love it. I don't. I like it. I don't love it, but my kids love it. So that's where Nathan picked to eat before graduation. So we all went. And uh, Chuck was like, what's this green stuff in the soup? <laughs> was it seaweed? It was. Seaweed. <laughs> seaweed. It yeah. was seaweed. And he put his bottle of yeah. soup back in yeah. the yeah. set it aside. Mom and Carla and Chuck, they were hilarious. They were like, what's this? And I then they the would. the looks on their face. Yeah. That <laughs> and then they were like, uh, never mind. We won't want that. Needless to say, they didn't. None of them ordered sushi. No, I I ordered chicken tender. I, I wondered if they ate any. Yeah. So, I knew I wasn't going. I knew when he said that's where he's going to eat, and I knew that's where he's going to choose to eat before we ever even 
and tell me where we was eating at because I knew Nathan, that's his favorite. It was hilarious. Okay. How many did we get? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. You get between 18 and 20. And I didn't clean the, the mixer out real good because I didn't want to take up all the time. So I'm going to uh, set this aside, take my gloves off, and uh, uh, let me get some eggs. The next step, the next step is you actually put this in the, cover it with foil, put it in the refrigerator, and, um, and let it cool. But, I, yeah, we need a, a rag, yeah, thank you. Um, I put a, a cup and a half of panko or breadcrumbs, whatever, whatever you want to use. I guess the oil's okay back here, Mary. Yeah. Uh, it's not smoking, so. Okay, let's turn this one on. Um, get the burner and get it hot so I can transfer it over. Okay. Um, I gotta get some eggs out. We got three eggs. You can crack an egg for me if you don't mind. sure your gloves fit. <laughs> and uh, if they're cold, they're not, they're going to be, they're going to yeah. feel more put together yeah. than. Yeah. All right, and that's how you do them. And then uh, cover them in foil and put them in the refrigerator. And I will do this off the camera because I've got some made and we're going to go ahead and fry them. I will finish this, this if you don't mind, Linda. Just put it somewhere and I'll cook them off camera. Um, Is it okay? Yeah, that's fine. Because I'm fixing to uh, show you how to cook them. Lock this off again. 
I don't know how it is, and I have to make such a mess. But it's just, it's just in process of cooking. You have to constantly clean. I'm going to I fixed a big breakfast the other day. Yeah. You should have seen my kitchen work. <laughs> is that right? <laughs> I wanted to use, we got a new, we got a new item that we're going to be using, and I wanted to see how many biscuits it would hold. Uh, you made now, a bunch of biscuits, I made huh? two dozen biscuits, because I wasn't sure how many this fan would hold. All right. But that's a refrigerator, and I'll finish them later. I fixed milk gravy and ham and bacon and eggs. Uh, <laughs> it, was, it was a lot of food. I still got some of the refrigerator. Are you gonna use your spider? Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. And this is one that I made up last night. Those look nice. Okay. Um we get a plate. You need something to put them on. Yeah, I'll move this all away. <laughs> If you got a birthday this month in May, we'll be doing the birthday drawing tomorrow. We'll be doing the birthday drawing tomorrow. Oh, there's your pickup lid. Okay. All right. Um, we, I've had this oil heating for a while back here, so I didn't just turn the burner on. You can have another fire. <laughs> <laughs> I know it. I should have. Yeah, my use a little more. Yeah. I use big boilers. Yeah, I know. Um, That's how I caught the kitchen on fire, was using a boiler like that. And uh, I really should have um, put it in the bigger board, but I didn't want to. This is a whole container of Crisco. Of, of oil. Yeah, oil. Yeah. And so I didn't want to use two. It's because, I, you know, it was just too much, so that's why I put it in a little bowl. You, you have always been a lot more braver than me, Mary. Well, you just can't fill it full when you uh, fill it full of food yeah. when you got that much oil in it. And we're making chicken dash ham balls is what this is. And Thanks the helper reunion is Saturday, Mary. Right. I know. Um, and I want to go, but I don't know. Uh, are you planning on going? Donna said I ain't paying up the beans not because yeah I figured they probably yeah. because of that just yeah. trying to be so careful and I have to be with Mike so yeah. I just yeah. I I really wanted to go but I doubt that yeah. I'm gonna go yeah. are you gonna go anyway <laughs> <Don't we all laughs> I, I haven't made up my mind I know I said while I was sick with COVID that I was not going to be getting out. But what do you do with your life? I mean, that's just, I mean, do you just stay at home and not do nothing? You know? And I'm not that way. I like to be around people. Yeah. Um, well, I do too. I do um, too. So, I don't know. I just don't know. That does look good. Yeah. Look real pretty. Someone, yeah. Uh, several people have asked, can you freeze those? Yes. Yes. I have some in the refrigerator now. I thought maybe they might get uh, soggy or something. They don't. You can, I mean, they just. So anytime you're freezing something like this, wouldn't you freeze them on a cookie cool. sheet? Cool, yes. So they won't mash. Right. Yes. And yes. that way they'll be, yes. like in um, in big manufacturing places, they, they flash freeze stuff. Of course, yeah. we don't have a flash freezer no. that would do that. But if you'll freeze, if you'll line a cookie sheet and, Lay them flat, not double, you know, don't stack them on top of each other. And once they're frozen, you can take them out and put them in a Ziploc bag. I'm watching the clock 
they they supposed to be done in four minutes. That's why you don't want this oil so hot that the minute they hit the oil that they brown because right. you get them too brown. See how pretty they are? They look beautiful. They like about about another minute. I love my spider. Yeah. Do you know that um, when I cook potatoes for mashed potatoes or uh, a potato salad, you can lift almost half the pot oh, of really? potatoes out with that spider at is one that time. Yeah. Well, now this is one of them that's been discontinued, isn't it? Or is this one we can get? The new ones will new be ones. in, in yeah. August. Right. This one will get yeah. them in August. So. They, they're reworking them. Yeah, right. We had never even sold them to the public. Had no, I didn't think no, so. We haven't. They, they didn't allow us to. All right. I guess we could be making okay, this. Master. Oh, that was all I picked up. Mary, I'm sorry. Oh, you come over here. I'll get that cleaned up. Well, well we want to see the mess, it. too. Oh, I picked up the oil. I'll, and it, I'll get bottle. it. Container. I'm the one that set it over there, and I'm uh, sorry. Okay, I did. That's all right. It's your fault. I should have should have looked before I picked it up. Um, I'll just get another. Uh oh. Looks like they take these out. Oh, that smells good. They are really they good. Beautiful. My hands are washed again. I'm sorry, Linda. Keep walking. Maybe no worries. See? If you don't put this much oil in there, you could cook more at one time, but that's all I can cook at one time without the oil. Coming over. All right, now we'll do the. You need this whisk for? Uh, there's another one I got right here. Um, the fourth of the cup. I'll need the fourth of the cup maybe. Okay. okay. And y'all may make it. Um, y'all may make this honey mustard. Dish. <coughs> this is just not just something I made up. So, um, the only reason I'm measuring it is because for y'all, because I normally just pour it in here. Um, thank you, Linda. This is a clean towel in case y'all are wondering. It's not the one I've been washing my hands with. <laughs> washing my hands with. All right. Oh, that's a third. Oh, did I, you need the fourth? I'm yeah. sorry. I picked that's up okay. the wrong one. That, I think this is the fourth one. You can't find it. Um, I'm so bad, and I don't know if y'all like this or not. I did pay attention when I picked up this third, but I'm so bad between that third and that fourth, or when I'm measuring stuff, I'll pick up the wrong one. I've done that so many times and measured it, used it. There you go. All right. So, like I said, I don't, I don't. I usually just put it in the bowl, and I'll need that little spatula again. Right. Yeah. I usually just um, pour it in the bowl. But, and this is, uh, you say the Dijon, is that how you say that? Dijon? Is that how you say that? Yeah. Mustard. Okay. Thank you, Linda. You're welcome. I'm not on the ball over here. Yes, you are. I'm keeping you busy. You're doing great. We got our, some more um, heat balls cooking. Mustard. And you know what? When I put this, when I put this for the members on the recipe page, I, I think I said two tablespoons. I don't remember. But I, when I made some last night, I measured it, and it takes more than two tablespoons. Okay. It take I, the way y'all can remember is equal amount of Dijon mustard, honey, and mayonnaise. I didn't quite feel that full, but it's just just make it equal part because. It just needed some more um, 
Good job, mustard. You can also put lime juice in this, uh, which um, I know if you'll either get me a paper towel or put it on, I'm going to use it again. Okay. And like I said, <laughs> I don't usually measure this. I don't like it too much. Thank you. I am through with that now. Just a, like I said, a mixture or something. That I, are they getting done? Not, not quite. quite done. Okay. I'm just mixing this up. I put a little bit of olive oil in this too. I got a, a small bowl out. <laughs> if I'd got a larger bowl, I could whisk it. I don't know if I can whisk it or not, Linda. You want another bowl? No, no, just, I'm going to try it. I think you can. Yeah. Give me a paper towel, Linda, please. And I'll wipe it up a little bit and clean it up. You want it wet or just dry? I think it's okay. Dry. Thank you. Um, you can uh, taste it and see. Oh, I didn't put the olive oil in. Well, let's see. Uh, actually, what I made last night, I like better than this because <laughs> I didn't put as much Dijon mustard in it. This has got more mustard in it. Got a little, little tiny to it. Yeah, it does. That's okay. It's still good. We get these out. We'll you, you're frying more than you did in that first thing. I did. And that's why it's taking a little yep. bit longer to do. Yep. And another thing you have to think about is these were cold. Right. Right. And the then, ones I did last night, I didn't. I just made just like the ones I just got through doing. Um, I um. I you, like it. You like it with the more Dijon? I like it. Yeah. Um, the ones I did last night. Uh. Was I talking about that the room temperature. It was, <laughs> <laughs> I just I, I put the egg and the breadcrumbs on it and and immediately fried them. So, so you don't have really you quick. don't have to put them in the refrigerator. Uh, it takes a little uh, might take <coughs> a little bit longer to cook like this. When you're frying anything after your oil after you put like when we're frying pies and yeah. you put you cook your first two or three batches, yeah. it's, the oil is going, the temperature is going right. to go down. Right. If you'll get a little saucer out for me, Linda, okay. and we'll uh, cut one of these open. I'll show them. You may not be the one you want. It doesn't matter. It's fine. It's probably a bright plate. I'm just going to cook them just a little bit longer, and then we can go ahead and I'll put those others in there, and then we can go ahead and end the video. Uh, we got a taste of them. Yes, yes, I want you to taste of them. Um, I hope this is something that y'all might want to do. It's just, um, they taste really good. Something that you can make ahead of time for the kids for a snack well, or You something. know, when we grew up, Mary, um, things, of course, were a lot different then than they are now. And we didn't get we didn't get to eat until the men folks come in from whatever they was doing right. while they were fishing. <laughs> kids were starving. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, not literally. We had yeah. breakfast, but we little kids stomachs are small wow. and, and they get hungry faster so this would be something I think great if you had if a family had gathering, gathering had the and then while they're waiting to eat have something laying yeah. out yeah. for them to snack on yeah. um, don't you think I yeah. think it would be yeah, it would. or if you were just doing finger foods yeah this would be good right. for that too right. to have something I will show you chips and dip and Something I'll like one of them apart. But this is what I made last night. And uh, they're still crisp. They, they look really, yeah, really good. These, I'm going to show you the hot ones. But, um, whenever I t I, when I first opened it up and tasted it, I, it tastes, I said, that tastes like crab meat. 
Well, it, it's not, it doesn't, it's really not that it tastes like crab meat, but it's the uh, same yeah. texture inside. You mean crab cakes? Yeah, yes. like a crab cake. Uh, yes, crab cake. That's what I'm doing. Yes. That's a, I, I think they like, taste quite big. Yeah, they do. I wonder what it would taste like if there's cheese in it. I don't know. You know, everything in it is mushed. So the cheese, you wouldn't want to mush the cheese. I was looking through some old cookbooks um, and some old things, you know, Mary Crowley's cookbook and yeah. through some old ones the other yeah. day, and I saw a recipe that had a jar of cheese whiz in it. And I Is that why? Right? When I read that, yeah. you can. It's so funny to tell how each decade the recipes yeah. change. You know, yeah. old cookbooks have oleo or margarine, yeah. which we don't even buy. Yeah, yeah things has changed. Proportions, everything. People used to use uh, margarine for yeah. everything instead of butter. No, 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 and, uh, no. <laughs> uh, but we don't. No. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these in here, and then we'll cut these one of these open. And like ice cream, you know, we bought Melarine ice cream. I know. You know so that's how Mary got her nickname, Melarine. Yeah. <laughs> it's. Uh, Probably the cheapest brand ice cream you can yeah. buy in our day is Melarine right. ice cream. It come in a box, isn't it? Yeah, like one of the uh, like a box like yeah, box. Yeah, um, you cook them for about four minutes, but you be your own judge about how or how brown you want it. Like, get a little knife out of there, Linda, so we can cut in two. Okay. I don't, I don't know if um I don't know if um you can just pick it up, but I didn't know if it'd be too hot. Yeah. It's crispy. Yeah, it's real crispy. Linda, you want them? That looks good. Get taste it, Linda. You want some? Put you some spoon and some sauce. Yeah, put some on the plate so I don't dip in there. Well, I don't this another. Jesus. It's, it's hot, so I'm not going to put a big bite. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. Oh, the parsley kind of gives it a little Italian flair to it. Mm -hmm. It's really delicious, mm -hmm. and it's so much better than processed yeah. nuggets or balls or whatever you would buy in the store because this is the real chicken mm -hmm. and ham ground up. It's got a delicious taste to it. So does it, does a texture make you think of crab? Well, I'm not, I'm going to be honest with you. you know, okay. I have never yeah, eaten crab cakes, okay. but I've seen them many times. And and so for pictures, yes, yes it would remind yeah. me. But y'all you know, know that, you know, I have a real simple palate. I know. I know you do. I don't eat seafood. So <laughs> y'all don't judge me. <laughs> but um, you see, that's how they are. And um, you can, after they cool, put them on a, um, you don't want to, when you're freezing them, you don't want to put them in a bag to freeze at first. You want them to freeze before you put them in the bag. Yeah. Because they will, they get, they get mashed. So you put them on a tray, freeze them, and then once they get frozen, put them in a Ziploc bag. And you can just pull out whatever you want. Yeah. Do you freeze them before or after you fry them? After, yeah. And I don't think, you know what, I've never frozen before, but I don't, <coughs> I, I don't freezing, think I'll freeze freezing after yeah. myself. Yeah. I don't know, um, I might try that sometimes, freeze them, or not cooked. It's just, it's, a, the, my opinion of that is, you've got to let them thaw out, and that's chicken. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I don't know if I would want to do that or not. Um. Can you see how can you see that is? I mean. Yeah, the, it's very dense. I'll, I'll do another one. It just looks like this ground up chicken. It's it's yeah. really good. You don't taste you don't taste no ham or no I chicken. Don't even taste the ham. Uh -huh. It's uh -huh. just delicious. It's all blended together. It's yeah. really good. Yeah. So anyway, I hope this is something that y'all you know this. Dipper that y'all might be interested in yeah, making. I definitely so. think this would be a, a great recipe to yeah. have in your recipe yeah. file. Yeah.
So uh, I, now on this breadcrumbs, these, these the breadcrumbs that I use today does have Parmesan in it. You don't have to. Okay, so that's probably another mm -hmm. reason it kind of had an uh -huh. Italian flair to it. But they're yeah. very, yeah. very good. I had they had a little because that's what I had. <laughs> the breadcrumbs had Parmesan in it. So all right, well um, I guess so. Uh, I will um, let these cook a little bit longer and and um, get off the air. And this was called chicken dash ham balls, is what I call them. It's cro cro croquettes. croquettes. Yeah, is what it. But that's so, a fancy word for it. balls for me. <laughs> Y'all remember, we'll be at my house tomorrow, and um, and we're trying something different through the summer. We're going to be. Uh, trying to be on four or five times a week, but we're only cooking twice a week. We'll try our best to be on at the same times at 10 o'clock. Um, so, uh, might just be a surprise because we might not know where we're going until we get there and we get these microphones um, working with the noise canceling um, feature on them. And hopefully, you'll be able to hear us if we're in an area right. where there's background noise. Right. So. Uh, thank y'all very much for watching. Be sure you're only watching on this page. Yeah. And I'm going to try to put the link, post the link often on my personal page, and y'all are too, if right? It ha if it has fans up in the corner, a little square corner on the left-hand corner, if it has fans, Pinky Balls Cakes, Cookies and Candy, that's not us. It's our videos, but it's not our, it's not us. Yeah, it's not so, our, our correct page. Right. So, so, thank y'all for joining us. I love y'all, and don't forget to count your lessons. Me too. Bye. Bye.